गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर कंप्यूटर टीचर वाणी जमाल स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज माई वीडियो फॉर क्लास टेंथ आई हैव स्टार्ट लर्निंग टॉपिक फॉर माई डिस्कशन अबाउट सी एस एस एंड देर वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट the types of web pages and uh, how they differ from each other and then after i have discussed about the dhtml that it was dynamic hypertext markup language today i'm going to discuss about my topic related to dhtml is what are the basic components of dhtml document the students first of all dhtml in the dhtml document the first component is html html defines the basic structure of the web page basic structure of the web page without without using html you cannot configure a dhtml document so we can say that a dhtml is used to define the basic structure of the dhtml file it help or it uses the various types of attributes and tags to defining the basic structure of the its dhtml document and how we already know that in the basic tags of html there are body tags there are head tags title tags paragraph and so on they all the tags are used in the dhtml to define the basic structure of the html the second thing that is the component of a dhtml document is css css actually students a css is used in dhtml document to design to design the web page that means how to give the visual layout of the web page how the text will appear how the paragraph will appear how the alignment will appear how the page of the color how the alignment of the uh, paragraph color how the border will display each and everything will be described by the help of css whatever we can, we are unable to do in that html is comes with a new feature that is dhtml combined with the feature of css css define the layout the visual effect and their various outlooks that you see in the current web pages that is designed by the css so dhtml document the second part of the dhtml document is css without css you cannot give the visual look you cannot change the appearance you cannot <coughs> change the look of the your web page so html in dhtml the css is most important because it is used to design the content of the web page and the next thing is the encrypting language the scripting language scripting language means the language that we are use for description <coughs> that is java that php that asp these are the scripting language that we use in in the dhtml document it is used it is used to make the make the page dynamic i have already discussed about that in the uh, static page there is no modification in the content and in the dynamic page you can see the, the modification in the content whenever user give the some request the automatically the page will change themselves how this can be how can it can be done by it is done by the help of the visual scripting language just as java we use uh, dhtml java most of the most of the uh, dhtml document is created by the java it uh, it it it, it, it ex- accept the users input and give the response on the web page according to that according to that it interprets between the uh, users and the server and if they can uh, con- uh, they collect the data and display according to it on the users web page just i have given example uh, whenever you visit a shopping website and you are asking something about your uh, uh, giving circumstances giving uh, uh, given uh, condition according to that condition it will uh, change it will 
change to you it will give for, for example you are if you are searching about the mobile phone first of all you have given uh, to instruction to search about the phone of nokia company and after some time you want to see the uh, mobile phone of samsung company you will give the modification in the uh, top, in the search box and according to the search box the information will display on the web page it is all done by the interpretation all the interpretation is done by the help of the scripting language that we are used with the dynamic hypertext markup language in ds table the last one is the last component of the ds element is document is domes that is called uh, document object model actually this is uh, this uh, this is the logical structure how how the css uh, will coordinate with the subscript uh, scripting language how the html will coordinate with css and scripting language all the coordination is done by the help of the dom document objection uh, object model it is actually define the logical structure of your web page so it is also also important uh, for the uh, for the the html document students you must you must know that these four are the very very important components that are used to design the html document so uh, uh, this is uh, all about for today's my video and we will discuss about more things about the css and uh, dhtmls in my next videos thank you very much for watching my video and keep learning through this my youtube channel thank you very much